Hello, world folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Looks like the royal family is once again spiraling over Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, and Oprah Winfrey. In case you missed it, Harry and Meghan did not attend their celebrity friend's Oprah Winfrey's 69th birthday over the weekend, despite living close to the talk show host. Meghan and Harry totally ignored Oprah's invitation over fear of public scorn. It comes after the couples received unexpected negative backlash over the release of Harry's bombshell memoir and their tell-all Netflix series, which aired late last year. Earlier this week, headlines emerged about a party for Oprah, Meghan and Harry's adopted hometown Montecito, which also celebrated cosmetic company Anastasia Beverly Hills' 25th anniversary. But Mario Alamont, president of Herman and Alamont PR, said widespread reports of a snub may not be the case. Alamont told Express, the absence of Prince Harry and Meghan from Oprah's recent birthday celebration may say more about the couple's current state of mind than Oprah's opinion of them or the royals. A-listers gathered on Saturday to celebrate in California celebrity enclave. Kim Kardashian, Sharon Stone, Jennifer Lopez made up the star-studded invite list. But Harry and Meghan, despite living close, were noticeably absent. Alamonte said, To be fair, most attendees at Oprah's party were celebrities, known mostly as performers and entertainers. The party was also for the 25 most influential women, so Harry's presence wouldn't have been appropriate. None of the attendees were purely public official, as one might categorize Harry and Meghan. But even discounting those factors, the couple, or at least Meghan, may have decided not to attend out of concern for their public image. The public suspects the couple are exploiting their relationship with the royal family, the PR expert claimed. He said, assuming Meghan had been invited and she declined, she may have felt that attending Oprah's celebrity-filled celebration would have opened them up to further scorn by public that already questions their authenticity. From a public relations perspective, they may have felt it was better to lay low for a while, stay out of the public eye, and not draw any publicity on themselves that could potentially turn negative. What do you guys think about this news? Do you also think that Harry and Meghan are hiding something behind the doors? Do you think they are preparing for something brutal before King Charles's coronation? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.